Good morning friends. Welcome back to my channel Coding Environment. I hope you all are doing well. In my last video, we covered what is software architecture and what are the different software architectures used in building different softwares. We have covered what is monolithic and microservices. If you have not watched that video, I will provide the link in description. In this video, we are going to cover what is event driven architecture. So before we go and see what is event driven architecture, let me explain a bit like what are the different parts of event driven architecture or any system. A system generally consists of message modules which is responsible for handling any event generated by any user or a device. A system should also be scalable in nature which means that we can add hardware whenever the load of the application is increasing or we can remove the hardware when the load of the system is decreasing. It should be resilient too to handle any unwanted crash or outages of the system. Also, it should be responsive which means it should be able to process the request in real time and not take much time to give the result. If the system is not responsive, this is enough to set off the mood of any user. Just imagine that you are trying to open a website and it takes 5 minutes to just load the home page. Nobody will like that website, right? So what is an event in an event driven architecture? An event is an immutable factual event that has happened in past. So let's try to understand it in terms of an e-commerce website. An e-commerce website generally has some module like checkout, inventory, shipping and contacts. Any event like checkout triggers one event which is generally passed to all these three modules which is inventory to update the inventory data, shipping module to ship the parcel and to contacts which needs to be updated. All these updates happen through a message broker. The job of this message broker is to pass the message from the checkout module to different module. It can also happen that the message will pass in bulks like this message broker can hold some bunch of messages and once the other module are ready to consume these messages from the broker, these messages will be read from the message broker. There can be a logger also which can be used to log these messages for audit purpose but of course the hardware support should be there to provide all these facilities. So in general, let's try to define the different components of an event driven architecture. A event driven can be generated. A event can be generated by basically three places like from mobile apps. The second one is from the web page and let's consider the third one as the S devices or the internet of things. Now there should be a backbone which holds the different module which are going to process these events generated from the different system. These modules, these modules can handle these events or they can also generate an internal event which can trigger some other services hosted somewhere on the cloud or it can be an event to start a music system or any other devices. It can be anything. So in general an event driven architecture is an architecture where the events initiate an action to perform some task. So this is all about the event driven architecture. I hope you like this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel and stay connected. Till then, have a great day and goodbye.